It's the end of another busy school day and soon these pupils will see the back of masks in the classroom. I feel great about it. I'm really happy to have them off now. I think it's just more having the choice, like whether you want to wear it or whether you don't want to wear it now. So when you wear a mask, sometimes you can't breathe. Yeah. And when you talk, like, for example, when you talk to someone, some people cannot hear you with, with a mask on. I think that it would be good to have them on in some environments, especially like busy classrooms and bus settings, as there's just lots of people cramped into a smaller area. Pupil absences due to COVID have dropped from more than 27,000 last week to around 20,000 this week. However, those representing teachers are concerned the removal of masks will further compromise their safety. I don't think we would welcome it um, full stop because um, our view was we should wait until the infection levels have dropped uh, more significantly than they have uh, until we're through the, the winter period. I, I do think that there are a lot of um, Scottish Parliament politics involved in this, and um, that's unhelpful. Uh, our focus is trying to keep schools safe. Vaccines are now available to 12 to 15 year olds, and we see that zero prevalence, which is the presence of antibodies in those age groups, is really at a high level now. Um, and even though they haven't necessarily had both doses of the vaccine, some of them have, um, so we can be confident those children have some protection. Most importantly, the vast majority of teachers are vaccinated and have had a booster. Schools are breaking up for the February holidays, but when students and staff return, it'll be a step closer to life before COVID. Vanessa Taff, STV News.